Hi everyone, James here, back with another a look inside the box. This time it's the AML 172nd scale Curtis Hawk 75A1 and then 2, 3, of, and there's actually a 6, uh, 1 you can do. On the front it's the nice box art of the Hawk 75. On the left at the bottom there is markings for a, a French one, a Finland, a Germany one. On the back is the colour guide and decal placement for one of the options with paint suggestions here at the bottom, both sides. And on each side is again the box art looking inside you get one spray sheet vacuum form canopy instructions and the decals photo etch and resin Starting off with the plastic, there is just one sheet, as uh, most of it, or some of it, is in resin. As you can see, there is no cockpit parts on the sprue. The detail is it's quite good. Re recess panel lines. There is flash in places here. It's not. A Big deal, will clean up quite easily. The close up of the detail, the bottom half of the wings, details okay. Propeller, the engine, you only get one half, I believe, but you do get the two parts for the engine in the resin, fuselage half and the other one, landing gear oleos, rear control surfaces, top wings, there is detail inside the fuselage halves but you get these massive horrible ejector pin marks all over the details you can see here it's going to be a pain to clean up again one in the rear you do get some on the wings as well top and bottom So that is the plastic. So next is the the vacuum formed canopy. It's it's okay. The framework is nice and crisp, but it just looks a bit foggy to me. The transparency of it. Looking in, won't be using that one. We'll be using the SMER kit one, it's this one here, that is the canopy, next is the decals, the photo etch and the resin all together, the decals are in good register, it's clear, colours are good, In the photo etch, various uh, instrument panels, some 
bits to put on top of the wings, you get the harness straps as well. And the resin, you get the, the engine, the cockpit, the other part of the engine there, the landing gear doors, and various other parts, all to do with cockpit and landing gear, I believe. So that is the that's the decals, the photo etch and the resin. Lastly is the instructions. On the front, as usual, the brief history of the aircraft, the sprue part tree for the plastic and then again for the resin here. Down the page, there is the recommended colours for the assembly and then the suggested colours are Humbrol, Aeromaster, Enamel, Aeromaster Acrylics, Model Master Enamel and Henna. Uh, you, as usual you start off with step one the cockpit interior assembly. This time it's the uh, rudder pedal and the instrument panel. Step two is the cockpit tub and then the seat going on, for, uh, the sight, gun sight, the control stick and various other parts. Step three is the two fuselage halves, adding the cockpit tub and the rudder pedal assembly and sealing the two fuselage halves together. Uh, steps four is the assembly of the engine, but here there is uh, two options. So if you're doing the Hawk 75A4, you would need uh, parts 18 and 17, and then with the corresponding parts for the engine and the the prop. And if you're doing Hawk 75A1, 2, 3 and 6, you would need parts 23 and 24, engine cowlings, and then the corresponding parts for that variant of Hawk. Moving on to part 5, the build assembly, it's the wings, adding the two top and bottom half of the wings with various panels for the weaponry and then I believe the the wheel well detail inside. Step six is adding the fuselage and the wings together and then adding the control rear control surfaces also. Step 7 is adding the engine as to which one you're doing here again. Whichever variant you're doing, you have to be careful to select the right exhaust. And then adding the landing gear also in step 7. Step 8 is the marking out for the machine guns and again to which one you're doing uh, there is measurements telling you how far apart they need to be from the fuselage turning over So that's the assembly complete now, that's the deco options. There is a 
9, January 1940. A French one, and then again another one in French, and that is May 1940. And then you get two Finnish ones. That is July 1941, and then it says Spring 1944 for this one. Another finish, that is August 1941, and a, a captured uh, Hawk 75 in German markings and it's at the Dusseldorf air base in spring 1943 and then the last marking is again a French scheme and that's Casablanca 1942 so that is the AML 172nd scale Curtis Hawk 75 Thanks for watching.